In this video, I'll show you how to diagnose a tire pressure monitoring system using an Autel TS508. For a full system diagnostic, I'll select Advanced Mode by pressing the right arrow and press Y to select it. Now choose the vehicle make and press Y to continue. Select the model and now select the year of the vehicle and the type of wheels. Now for a full system checkup, I'll do a TPMS diagnose. If this option is not available, make sure you're in advanced mode since quick mode will not have this option. And I'll press Y to select it. And here's the list of diagnostic steps that we will go through. The first step is to scan the sensor for every wheel. Then connect the tool to the OBD port on the vehicle. And then we'll be shown the diagnostic test results. And we can read and erase trouble codes. Now to continue, I'll press Y. And now I'll scan the sensor for each wheel. And I'll start with the one that's highlighted in red on the screen, which is the front left. Place the tool close to the valve stem first and press the signal button to start the scan. Once the scan is successful, the tool will emit a beeping noise and the check mark and pressure reading will show up on the screen. The next location that needs to be scanned will be automatically highlighted, so I have the front right next. Again, I'll place the tool next to the valve stem and press the signal button. So I got that one scanned in as well. The next sensor is the rear right. And lastly, I'll scan the rear left. All right, so I've tried for a little bit and I'm not getting a signal here which means the sensor is broken or it has ran out of battery. To skip a sensor that's not working, the scan can be cancelled by pressing the N button and I'll do that now. Once the wheels are scanned, even if a scan was cancelled, like the last sensor, the tool will advance to the next step, which is to connect the OBD cable. In case another sensor other than the last one doesn't scan in, after pressing N to cancel it, the tool will not advance to the next location automatically, so you can use the arrow keys to select the next location manually. Alright, so now we're on step number two. Let's connect the OBD cable. The OBD port is usually found under the dashboard on the driver's side. When connecting it, make sure to push the plug all the way in. Now plug the other end into the TPMS tool and turn the ignition switch to the on position. And now with everything connected up, I'll press Y to continue. And now press Y again to confirm the results. And here's the result of the diagnostic. A green sensor indicates that the sensor ID that we scanned in the first step matches the ID that's programmed in the vehicle. And the green signal icon next to a sensor indicates that the sensor is working properly. The rear left didn't emit a signal, so it has a gray signal icon. In case the sensor ID that's scanned in step one doesn't match the sensor ID stored in the vehicle, then the sensor will show up with a red color. This commonly happens when the wheels are rotated without reprogramming or when a new sensor is installed without programming it. And when the low battery icon is displayed next to a sensor, that means it's close to running out of power, so make sure to replace the battery if it's replaceable or replace the sensor. Alright, so from this screen, we can go on to view and erase DTCs. I'll press the Y button. And I have just one code here, which is a signal failure from the rear left sensor. We already found that the rear left sensor is not emitting a signal, so this code is not surprising and it just confirms what we have already found. In order to clear DTCs, once the problem is fixed, that can be done by pressing the signal button, so I'm gonna press it to erase them now. And press Y to confirm erasing.
When the erase command is successful, no DTCs will be shown on the bottom right of the screen, and the TPMS light on the dashboard will be turned off. So that's how to diagnose TPMS problems. In the next video, I'll replace the rear left sensor with a new Autel MX sensor, and I'll show how to program it using this tool. If you found this video useful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, your support is really appreciated, and consider subscribing to my channel, I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thanks for watching!